It has been said that if you lean in to hear the winds as they blow across the fairway here, the voices of the past can still be heard. One of the most important voices at the Masters Tournament is now silent. But if you listen closely, his message is as loud as ever. Robert Lee Elder was a pioneer who blazed impossible trails. A legendary self-taught golfing talent who fought simply to play the sport that he loved at a time when his skin color made that nearly impossible. He came here in 1975, the first black man to participate in the Masters Tournament. Defying the odds, he would play the Masters five more times. Elder's participation here would become a seminal moment for a game that continues to reckon with its past. 22 years later, he would watch in person a young phenom named Tiger Woods, with brown skin of his own, win here in record fashion. There it is, a win for the ages. Woods saying, he was the one I looked up to. Because of what he did, I was able to play here, which was my dream. 46 years after his own dream, Elder would join Masters legends Gary Player and Jack Nicholas for the Masters traditional ceremonial tee shot, an honor bestowed on the greats of the game. Elder taking his rightful place on golf's center stage. If you listen closely, the voices of the past can still be heard here.